you guys, uh, Irma is leaving Cuba now and starting to veer like um, west northwest. It appears that my gale shield is working. Uh, I think my gale shield is the reason it's taken a more westerly course and why it's down to a category three of 125 miles per hour winds. So yes, I did the right thing to stay in Florida. I believe my gale shield is helping to protect the state. But the reason I'm making this video, I'm noticing that I'm getting uh, symptoms of yeast infection. So I think that Lori McBride and the Jew clone have loaded the clouds of Irma with yeast germs and maybe other germs. So if you are experiencing gassiness, bloating, uh, maybe a little insomnia, if you feel like you're having a hard time focusing, which could be uh, when the, they can use yeast to increase their ability to use brain control. And if you're noticing, um, yeah, like a little bit of nausea, the, the yeast can do that because what it does is it'll go down there and start infecting your bowels. And she seems to have a very fast moving yeast or whatever germ it is. I think it's yeast. And so if you're noticing that, contact Zach Knight at galesmen at yahoo.com and tell him that you're experiencing these symptoms and ask him to give you his semen. And he may do it uh, orally, rectally, or, you know, uh, it'll be up to him. So he's probably going to be very busy. I believe part of their strategy, strategy to try to destroy me was to um, not only use the hurricane as a possible. Basically, I think my gale shield has foiled them in terms of using it as a Category 5 hurricane to make a direct impact on Melbourne. My gale shield, I believe, has expanded to cover most of the state of Florida, or it's it's bigger now. It's it's not just a dome over central Florida, because I can, I've actually felt the, uh, the gale shield interacting with the hurricane. I, I can kind of tell when my gale shield is getting a little strained. So this is a pretty powerful storm, and I believe that my gale shield is actually sucking up some of the strength from this storm to weaken it. In other words, it's gone, it's expanded, and it's going down to Cuba and, and, and mingling with the storm winds and absorbing some of the power from the storm in order to weaken it. But in doing so, I'm noticing that I'm starting to feel a little ill. Uh, apparently it's absorbing some of the germs in the, so I, I'm just letting you know in advance, if you start feeling gassiness, one of the symptoms of yeast infection is you feel gassy, bloaty, nauseated, uh, you feel, you can, you can get a headache, uh, congestion, uh, and it feels kind of like irritable bowel, and you can also get, uh, diarrhea, and I believe in extreme cases, even vomiting. So, but I'd be, what you need to do, people, obey all the Gale commandments. Thou shalt take Seroquel, the medication designed by Jesus, every day is prescribed at the same time every day. Thou shalt eat a balanced diet. You know, you've got food or water in storage. Try to eat a balanced diet without concerns about allergens or toxins. Using the method of calories in, calories out. I don't think anybody's worried about weight management right now. Thou shalt not toil in activities, even honorable work to the Lord to the extent that sleep is sacrificed. Okay, that might be hard to sleep with all the winds, but try to lay aside um, eight hours for sleep. The main thing is if, you just lay, if you're laying in bed and you're trying, I think that counts with the Gale Commandments, even if you can't sleep. <clears throat> so just set aside eight hours for sleep, even if the sleep doesn't come, that will help. Um, thou shalt honor the home of Jesus' favorite by taking time every day to clean. Wipe, I'm doing laundry right now. Laundry vacuum and dust your living quarters. If I lose power, then I may not be able to vacuum, but I'll try to do every Gale commandment that I can. Thou shalt go on walks every day. I was going to try to go outside today, but I felt a little bit of downpour, so I did it all indoors with the windows open on my machine, and I did a little extra. I did like an hour. Uh, uh, unless he made the day rainy or unsuitable for walks, then exercise indoors with the windows open. Thou shalt not so I shall spend money only on food and bills, uh, being mindful that spending... Actually, for this hurricane, I have... The only extra thing I bought was some insect repellent, and I haven't really spent any a, a whole bunch of money. I'm making ice cube. Um, about every six hours, my ice cubes freeze, and I put them in bags, and my goal is to fill up my whole freezer with ice cubes so that if I lose power, hopefully I'll, I'll 
might be able to keep my food fresh. So I'm just using those old fashioned little ice cube trays, filling them up. Uh, when they freeze, I take, take them out, put them in little zip lot bags, put them in my freezer, put your refrigerator and freezer at their hot, coldest setting right now. And then once, if you lose power, don't open that door to get food unless you absolutely have to. Okay. It'll probably stay longer. Maybe eat your canned food first. And then if you don't get your power back within 48 hours, then open your freezer door or whatever. But don't open that refrigerator or freezer door. Have your refrigerator and freezer set to the coldest setting. Um, okay, thou shalt spend money only on food and bills. Being mindful of spending money. I'm reading Gail Commandments on a deal or impulse. Is not saving money if it's to buy more than you need or something you wouldn't have otherwise bought. Thou shalt take only one multivitamin and one allergy medication per day or whatever your doctor has prescribed for you. And um, taking supplements or special foods in an attempt to improve a health condition or alleviate symptoms is off limits. Like I don't take probiotics or anything. I get everything natural. Uh, the only thing I take is Seroquel, a multivitamin, Advil, Advil or a painkiller as needed for headache, uh, Sudafed or allergy medication, allergy like I take um, Sudafed when I have a stuffy nose, uh, Advil like for headache and um, or Tylenol, whatever you want to take. And then I take um, uh, Allegra or Zyrtec for allergies. Okay. And of course, take it in the amount that they recommend, like don't overdose or anything. Um, so taking supplements or special foods in an attempt to improve a health condition or alleviate symptoms is off limits. Um, thou shalt store savings of at least $100 every month for the future. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, whoever. Basically, even with this hurricane, I'm trying to obey that. All I did, like two weeks ago, I figured Irma was going to come. So I bought me some, I've got, I bought me some bottled water. You can see it in the background there. So I'm good. And I actually have some bottled water over on this side too. You see that right there? A little bit over there so I'm I, and I bought about 30 bucks worth of canned food I, I got the great value brand because it's cheaper <laughs> and I, I did that two weeks ago so I've got that the canned foods in a um, waterproof jug there so anyways that's the Gale Commandments so um, uh, thou shalt make a YouTube video I don't think you guys need to do that just for me so basically follow the Gale Commandments as much as you can. If you lose power, obviously you can't vacuum, but you can still dust. You can still, uh, I'm doing laundry now because I'm anticipating I might lose power. On. The storm is expected to hit Central Florida Sunday to Monday. Okay. So I'm doing laundry right now. Uh, and so uh, basically you guys, if you need help with Zach Knight, Gail's men, I mean, because you've got symptoms of yeast. Gales, I already told you what they are, diarrhea, bloating, gassiness. Contact Zach Knight at Galesmen, G-A-I-L-S-M-E-N, at yahoo.com and let him know. And what he's going to, we have scanners where we can scan over your body to see if you're suffering from a yeast infection. And I believe she's going to try to uh, cause Lori and this Brent clone have put germs, uh, it appears, in Irma's clouds. I've noticed that. And so we're not only dealing with hurricane force winds, we're dealing with infections from this storm. So contact Zach Knight and he can give you a semen even during the hurricane. He can do it brain to brain, um, like rectally or uh, orally or whatever works best for your body to get you back. He uses it like a medicine. Zach has got very potent antibiotic semen. He, he hardly ever gets sick. He's got special semen that has antibiotic properties and it kills just about every known germ in existence. Okay? Galesman at yahoo.com if you're suffering from yeast symptoms because of Irma. Okay, I'm going to go now. Uh, I'm going to make more ice cubes and continue to get, I don't know how much more, longer I can post. So, I'm going to go get ready.